Hey, Gales and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and I shot some video in the lab, and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna play this right after this. I just wanted to go through some display cables real quick, if you're not familiar with them, because what I touch upon mostly in this video is like old monitors. What do I do with old monitors? Can I use old monitors? What would I need for adapters and things of that nature to get those old monitors working? Uh, unless there's a tube in them, unless they're like a box, like you know, back from the '90s, um, old monitors are fine to use. They're perfectly great. Why go buy something new when you can use something that's already purchased and um, instead of throwing more shit in the dumpster or recycling it or something, you can use something that's existing. Save yourself some money. It works fine. Um, so I just want to go over these connections. This is These are newer connections. So USB-C, I don't really use this. So it just... Um, for background, I'm, I worked for the VA, the Veterans Association. I worked for DePaul, which is like low income housing. So they utilize a lot of, um, I wouldn't say old equipment, but old, your older equipment. The only thing I use this port for really is nothing for, the only display purposes I use this for are docking stations. So unless you're using a docking station, um, I never use this particular cable. Uh, that's the, that's the only reason I use that port. Um, so that's kind of, I'm, I'm going to go old school with basically what uh, I'm doing in the lab. Display port, it's been around a while. It's, it's fairly new. Uh, so that's, I use that a lot. That's, that's a lot on like docking stations and desktops. HDMI. I remember when HDMI cables used to be like 50 bucks or a hundred bucks or something outrageous. Now there, you can get them for a couple bucks. Um, they're a dime a dozen now. Uh, pretty economical now, used um, across the board pretty much. Thunderbolt, again, that's kind of a newer technology. I don't really use Thunderbolt connections, ports or cables, so I won't touch upon it. Um, <clears throat> it's just it's just newer. They're universal. And I haven't really had the opportunity just to the fact that I don't work with them on a day-to-day -day basis. None of my equipment has it. None of the equipment I deal with through the government or the low-income housing through which I work um, deals with it. So I don't really have much to say about it. VGA, that's old school. So I'm going to show you some connectors that you can get for VGA. So if the back of your monitor just has not VGA connect. Uh, for VGA, for, for display ports, you can get connectors for VGA to display ports. You can get connectors for HDMI. Can you get connectors VGA to Thunderbolt? Can you get this VGA to USB-C? I'm sure. Why you would want to do that, I have no idea. I don't think you would, really. DVI, a very old, old school, way old school. Not as old as I am. I'm pretty old. But <laughs> pretty, pretty up there. Pretty up there. Same deal. We can get a DVI uh, connector for uh, HDMI and DisplayPort. Can we get it for Thunderbolt? I don't know. I haven't researched it. I'll, I'll check in a minute. Uh, can we get it for USB-C? I don't know why you would. But um, so if you have an old DVI monitor with this this connection in the back. There is a way that you can still use it. You can get a connector for it. And uh, we're going to go to the lab and uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to elaborate more on that. Hey guys and gals, it's Chris Morgan from MyMediaHelper.com. And today I'm just going to talk about some connections uh, to a monitor. So as you can see, there's no HDMI on here. Uh, there's no display port on here. It's just um, you got VGA right here and DVI. So, um, and then most computers today, right, have your HDMI connections or your um, D cable, I call them D cable connections because they look like a D um, display, display port connections. And one around here someplace I can show you. Yeah, so like that kind of looks like a D. It looks like a D to me. I don't know what to tell you. I call them D cables. I can call them whatever I want as long as they work. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there are connections. If you have an old monitor, um, they're fairly cheap. If you go to like a Goodwill or something, or you work at a place that um, recycles their equipment, um, there's nothing wrong with this monitor. It's flat screen. Uh, I think it's 17 inches, and it's a nice monitor, and there's no reason to recycle it. Uh, there's no reason to really upgrade it. If it's working, why, you know, why spend the money? I know monitors are pretty cheap these days, inexpensive, but um, why why purchase when you can when you can reuse? Okay, so here's your, um, probably you have one of these if you have one of these type of monitors. So that's your VGA cable on both sides. All right. And then you can just try to fit it in there. I hate these old things. This is so old school. Right? You got to screw them in. I got these big ass hands. And you always had to screw them in. And it's a pain in the nuts. It still is. And I don't have it connected, powered, or anything. I'm not going to put on the display or anything. Um, this is just to show you uh, different connections you can buy. So, um, like I just showed you, I just pulled out. 
So this is for. Let's get it. Okay. So this is for um, your display port. So probably all your um, or most of your desktops are going to have those. So you just simply connect it in here. Just make sure it's the right way. And these are fairly inexpensive. I'll put some links down in the description to get those. And then that goes in uh, your desktop. I'm not sure so much laptop. Um, you probably want to use HDMI for your laptop. So for the laptop over here, I don't know if you can see it. It's all hooked up and stuff, but it's just got an HDMI um, cable. It doesn't, or port, it doesn't have a display. It doesn't have a display port. And nothing's to say you can't get an adapter for anything and everything. But, um, yeah, so you've got a little monitor. Just get yourself one of these. And then again, you just hook it in there. And then you put it back in your computer. Your computer, it's going to be plug and play. Your computer's going to know what to do with it. And you're going to have a display. Okay, so let's talk about uh, DVI. DVI is an old monster. Here's a DVI cable. All right. And get this out of the equation here. So annoying. Oh, man. I hate these old things. All right. <laughs> All right. So these go in like so. Same deal. Let's line it up somehow. Line it up. There's various uh, adapters you can get for this one too. This will work good for both of your laptop and your desktop. Uh, so, all right. So there you go. There's your DVI um, on one end. There's your HDMI on the other. And then if you got like an, even an old TV, it doesn't necessarily have to be a monitor. It can be a television. And what am I doing wrong here? Why is that not going in? There we go. Okay, instant connection. Okay, HDMI into your laptop, into a TV. Maybe you got an old. Um, uh, why would you plug a monitor into a, a, a TV? <laughs> you would. I don't know. For any reason, you, your computer uses this connection, um, then you can do that. And then you put this into a TV. All right. But um, again, that's uh, another converter uh, you can get. Another peripheral you can get to. Um, to utilize an old an old monitor. So just to show you, it just goes right in there. And then that goes right into um, your computer or your, your desktop, your laptop. Same with this deal. This is kind of smaller. This is kind of, this is a VG, um, a DVI to VGA. So, um, so say, right, this one goes here. I'm not sure why you would necessarily want to do that, but here. But just for giggles, so that goes in the back of that. And your your VGA would go there. And why you would want to daisy chain it this way, I have no idea. But who knows? Maybe you're in a situation where these are the cables that you have. All right. So now in this case, you have DVI into your monitor to a VGA <laughs> going into uh, your display display port cable. Uh, going into the back of your, more than likely, uh, a desktop, if not a laptop. Here's another one you can get right here. Again, this is DVI. All right. And then here is uh, HDMI. So just to put your, right here. And then that goes in the back. Of your monitor. So you have an old monitor hanging around and, and you're not really sure how to connect it and you're not sure you can connect it. You absolutely can. There are so many different um, connection variations out there that are created, that are made. Um, so they're very easy and most of them are pretty inexpensive. So take a look um, on Amazon. I'll have some links down in the description for you as well. 
and uh, so you can use an old monitor no need to junk it no need to recycle it um, the only way you're going to recycle it is you recycle it for self-use or friends use or loved ones use and so on and so forth oh i have to sit down old back old back old body so i just wanted to bring these to your attention so i mean there's connections for everything right dvi to vga and there's even laptops still VGA to VGA, so that's kind of self-explanatory. You don't need um, a connector for that, right? Um, here's VGA to... I'm not even sure what that is. It's not DVI. I'm not sure what that, those pins are. VGA to VGA if you need an extender for whatever reason in 2023. Who the hell knows? But... Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's a connector and a connection and an extender for anything and everything you could possibly imagine. All right, gals and guys, I just wanted to go over that a little bit, give you a heads up on that. And, of course, um, if you could subscribe to the channel. Wow, it's hot in here. I don't know if it's the coffee or just the sweater. Uh, if you could subscribe to the channel, uh, please like. If you like this video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Did I say subscribe already? share i think share i missed and then hit the bell for updates something along those lines and um i will catch you later